So if we jump back to Halo again, let's take a look at what we see here in detail. So we see the HTML code, so the actual representation. We can take a look at the HTML source code. We see the text representation of the email, as well as the raw email data that was sent to the SMTP server. We would get some debug information that's just not connected right now. We can see the email SMTP headers. We get a list of all the links that are inside of this email. And in here, I can see whether the status code is okay or broken. So in this case, the first link, which is just pointing to localhost, is returning a 404. So I can already see this at the top, that one broken link is present in this email. We get a spam report, which tells us how likely it is that this email would end up being in the spam. And we can also test this email through the testy.add service on actual email clients. So as you can see, we have this inbox name, and this is how emails get grouped in Halo. You can just change this inbox name in your SMTP settings. So if we go back to our end file, you can see that this is just the username. Halo will accept any emails coming in, and the username will be used for the inbox name that is displayed in the Halo application. So let's just rename this to Halo example app and trigger a password reset email again. There it is. And if I go back to my list, you can see that I now have two mailboxes, one with inbox name and one with Halo example app. So like this, you can easily group incoming emails from multiple applications all in one user interface.